Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 13. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we're going to get cracking with the uh, classic sports car event. Uh, we've actually had to pre-do the, I think it's the level 10 American point-to-point -point event, which we are going to do in a future video. Uh, just to get this car, and it, obviously it will be explained in that future video. But uh, we're starting off with New York, Maple Valley, Alpine Ring, and Laguna Seca. This is now my fourth attempt at this, and it's driving me damn crazy. What even is that? Pringles. Honestly, this race is horrendous. So, the actual term, terms and conditions, shall we? We'll call it that. To be able to enter this event, you have to have a stock car. So, you cannot upgrade the car. That's fine. Pick a decent car. Oh, wait, no. It's got to be a classic sports car. Alright, that normally would be fine in any other game. A classic sports car, fairly slow. Alright. Here's the thing, though. The specific rules to it is, like, before 1980. So any car before 1980 counts. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah, but all the other cars are C1 and below, except for one of the AI cars. That one behind. And that one is a B1 rated car. Which, for clarification, is an entire class level higher. Not like a sub-level. An entire class higher. So you think that's going from a um, Audi RS6 to a Ferrari kind of level. It's daft. And I'm going to be honest, it's not the best handling car. And it's also the only vehicle that has a B1 rating. Every other vehicle that comes under this category... Is a C1 or below. As stock. See if it was classic cars but you could upgrade. It'd be a fine event. It, no one would care. But you cannot upgrade your car. It has to be completely stock. And that's what means that you can only use this car. If you use any other car. I mean you look at the gap between the AI behind. Which is the blue dot behind my arrow. And the distance between... The second, third place AI. There's a larger gap between those two AIs than there is between me and the second place AI. That's how ridiculous it is. And the problem with it is the fact that the margin of error is so lim minimal. Because there's no other AIs to be battling each other. There's never any battles between cars... Between the AI cars that you can sort of get some distance. No, the AI's, that AI behind is always going to be on top form. Because it's not got any other cars to deal with. Hi back, I'm dad. Wow. Unbelievable. Such, such an original joke. <laughs> okay, I think we're doing much better this time. I'm not quite ripping my hair out. But I feel my blood pressure rising. Slowly. But surely. <laughs> Once we've done this. I'm hoping we can get this game finished by the end of the month. I don't know. I think that's unrealistic. I think it might take a month and a half. So. But once we've got this game finished, we can start playing some other stuff. I think by the time we finish this, Grid Legends might have a DLC. So we can uh, get cracking with that. And once we've got like 20 episodes left on YouTube, we'll start looking at Forza Motorsport 2. And starting playing through Motorsport 2. 
Which, by the way, if you haven't already Twitch chat, um, exclamation mark YT in the chat will get you a link to my YouTube page. You can uh, follow over there or subscribe over there and uh, be informed whenever my videos come out. Or, if you so desire, if you're on YouTube watching this, you may subscribe. Or you can look at the top link in the description and follow me on Twitch. <laughs> no, exclamation mark suck me is not a command. I doubt it ever will be. Man <laughs> I've cocked up. But we should be safe. It's right at the end. <laughs> I missed my breaking point. I just went straight to the fucking wall. <laughs> there we go. Also, cheers for the sub, uh, Epic. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. There we go. I want to rip every hair follicle out of my head. Okay, top tip. Stay in first. You lose first place, your race is over. There's no chance you're catching up. So, sabotage. Uh, get over. Get across. Yes. I'm going to be ultra focused for this event because this is fucking disgusting on so many levels. Like, to the point I've... I've adopted a new way of gripping my controller. Uh, I don't like it. We don't like it. This is not fair. You're no good for me. I don't need nobody. Don't need no one. That's no good for me. You're no good for me. I don't need nobody. Don't need no one. That's no good for me. Oh my god, they're so close. I don't need nobody, don't need no one, that's no good for me, you're no good for me, I don't need nobody, don't need no one. Oh, I, th I think we got it. I'm hoping that's enough of a distance that we should have some safety. Oh, honestly, driving in this game is fucking disgusting on so many levels. That's no good for me. You're no good for me. I don't need nobody. Don't need no one. That's no good for me. You're no good for me. I don't need nobody. That's no good for me. What have I... Don't forget as well, if you look on uh, my uh, YouTube page... On the homepage, you should be able to see upcoming videos. Um, so if you click on that, there's a playlist uh, of all the upcoming premieres. So if you want to click on them and uh, add a reminder to all of them, you should be able to see uh, when every single stream is going live. We got a wild Sinsu in the chat, my guy. Welcome. Sinsu, you've joined me at a bad time. We're uh, we're losing hair by the second. This event is horrendous. You're here for the for the worst event in this game. What the 
fuck the corner. It's fine. We can cut corners in this. We're allowed. It's not like we're going to get a penalty. Because this game doesn't do penalties. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, you fuck off. Yeah, you go wide, go wide. I'm taking the position back. Get away. Ah! I don't like this. This is so difficult. Ah, trying to keep this car stable, whilst also another version of this car that's controlled by AI, which is like the perfect version of me. Ah! No! Get back. Oh, it's way too close. Ah, uh, there's two more races after this as well. Uh. <laughs> Still in the lead. <laughs> oh, I've gone lightheaded there. Uh, not a good idea. Would not recommend. Zero out of ten. Jesus Christ, it's still catching up. Oh, I fucked that. Oh, I've caught up even more. No. 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 Keep it on the track. Holy shit balls. Holy shit balls. Ah, it's so. Oh. Oh, we got a lead. Oh, we got a fucking lead. <laughs> Let's go! Fucking finally. <laughs> that was such a bitch. Such a bitch. Right, it's time to rip out more hair. We got seven people watching us do this live. I've got seven people watching me losing the will to live. I think this is a Nirvana song. But I'm not 100% certain. But whatever song it is, it is beautiful and I love it. Burp. Burp, burp. Burp. The voodoo, voodoo. Mate, Voodoo People is one of those songs that's just like... It's just gonna slap for years. And Voodoo, Voodoo, what you gonna do with the people? Oh my god, it's nearly been four years since Keith passed away. That's crazy to think about. That is crazy. So clearly, by the looks of it, the AI struggles on this track. So we should be fine. As long as we don't cock up. As long as we don't cock up, we'll be fine. Which is kind of the story for every single race in this championship anyways. It's just such a bitch. What's it done with this one? I wouldn't have any problem with the rest of the event. This one is so poorly designed. But when it also comes to championships, we might actually be... Get a get out of jail free card. Because once we go to championship ones, we don't actually have to come first in every event. It's only the events that we have to come first in every race. But when it comes to championships, we don't have to come first in every race. We just have to come first overall. Which sort of helps. As long as you don't cock up, she won't get pregnant. Exactly. You know what's up. <laughs> I 
I'm very excited for Motorsport 3 and 4. They're like the pinnacle of Forza in general. So they're going to be good to enjoy. Motorsport 3 is the one that's going to bring the most nostalgia back. Because it was the first video game that I owned. Um... Like, that was mine. That was a racing game that I actually genuinely played. I had Gran Turismo PSP before that, which was my first Gran Turismo game and my first actual racing game. But that wasn't a console. Really, it's a handheld. So, my first console experience, proper full-on racing game, would have been Motorsport 3. Hey, cheers for that, Sinsu. Legend. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make a clips video at all, because... I don't know how it'd be received, but yeah. I'll definitely save them because they can be used for something at some point. Could be used for a, the Be Right Back screen. For all we know. I don't know. Ew. 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 Oh, there we go. That's it. Done. Not bad. That was much easier than the other ones. Here we go. Let's go. Smack my bitch up. Smack my bitch up. Imagine if the Prodigy released a song like this today. Oh my god, they'd be cancelled quicker than you could say, oh shit. To be honest, there are probably people trying to cancel the Prodigy already for this song. A song that came out in 1997. <laughs> if I were to post a picture I took in VR chat on your server, where would I? Uh, anywhere, really. If you want to, um, I think there's a gaming channel. Just create a thread and call it VR chat. You can put it in there. Bow. Banam, banam. Banam, smack my bitch up. Oh! Oh, I didn't even realise you'd be that close. Uh-oh. Not ideal. Ah, fuck you! Ah, he's fucked it! Ha-ha! 
Oh, wow. The AI is not in second for the first time ever. <laughs> oh, I don't care. I know I've peaked the microphone, but I don't care. I have... <laughs> That was a cause for celebration. Fuck the car. Ah. Uh... This is a tune. Do you know what's really weird, right? Is um. 2017 came out two racing games, right? We had Gran Turismo Sport and we had Forza Motorsport 7, right? Now, both of those racing games contain Laguna Seca, but one thing that really confused me is Forza Motorsport was still called the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Oh, balls. I've got the distance, though. We're fine. Don't do it again. But yeah, in um What's it called? Forza is still called the Master Raceway Laguna Seca. Now I know in real life is now called the WeatherTech Raceway. But like why did Forza still have it when the game released as WeatherTech? Uh as Mazda when it had been in the process of being renamed anyways. Okay, so I, uh, my celebration on lap two has been very short-lived. I now have a very angry Corvette on my tail. It looks it's angry. Just hoping it messes up in one of the corners. That keyboard keeps turning its lights on and off automatically, and it really trips me out. Not bad. I don't know why, but the scale of height in this game is so much greater than Gran Turismo ever portrayed this track as. Oh, God. I've just remembered why I hate this track so much. Taurus Trophy. For anyone who doesn't know, Taurus Trophy is a Gran Turismo spin-off. So it's made by Polyphony. But instead of it being cars and car racing, it's bike racing. So Polyphony Digital, the maker of a car racing game, made a bike racing game. Very cool to see. Only problem with it is... It's got Laguna Seca on it. Because it's got all the tracks from Gran Turismo... 4? This... It's got all the tracks from Gran Turismo 4, and then they added one track, I believe. Not 100% sure. Anyways, I digress. It was an absolute bitch to drive the Laguna Seca on Taurus Trophy. I've even got a video. I've got an entire walkthrough. I played the entire Taurus Trophy. 42 videos on YouTube. And every single one... Of the ones that has Laguna Seca, hated it with a passion. And the bitch you hated, Danger Illustrated. Winner, 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 winner. And the fire starter, Twisted Fire Starter. Winner, 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 winner. Kill the fire starter, Twisted Fire Starter. <laughs> and the bitch you hated felt infatuated yeah <laughs> feel intoxicated the lyrics of this song are just fucking brilliant and the paint you tasted <laughs> who goes around licking paint Actually, I probably shouldn't ask that question because someone is going to go and chat like, I've licked paint before. <laughs> I jinx that. I fucking jinx that. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, oh, marvellous. Joe, that's so good. We're going to have to make that a moment. Let's make it a moment. Uh, I've clicked the button by mistake. There you go. <laughs> Create a moment. Winner, 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 winner. So everyone should have a moments badge now. All right, so we're here for the Class B Championship. We've got uh, Sunset Peninsula Infield, Blue Mountains Raceway, New York, and uh, Road America. And a huge shout out to Epic Rider, who's got 126 hours watched on my channel so far, and DH Aaron, who's got 35 hour hours. Fucking mental. All right, we're here at uh, Sunset Peninsula. We're starting fifth. So uh, clearly this NSX isn't the best option. But it should be because he's got the best cornering performance. How the hell is that? Is that dodge? I think it said dodge stealth or something. That's weird. Uh, I myself, I've got an Oculus Quest 2. So... I'm not a great fan of VR chat just because of the fact it's such an intense game to run. It's a bit of a hassle. Yeah. Why my game? Sorry, I was just sorting out my headset then. Yeah. Why my game? <laughs> How do you have so many hours in that game? No IRL life. <laughs> Car messed up behind as well, so. And now we're gonna absolutely storm the rest of the pack. Ah! Lovely. Do you know what's really funny? I've got um. 152 days playtime on Guitar Hero Live on Xbox One. Which is kind of funny. And I've also got, um... Probably about 40 to 50 days playtime on Fallout 4 across multiple platforms. So... Yeah, it's safe to say that I'm a massive fan of Fallout 4. Guitar Hero has shut, been shut down for four years, so... Shit. Oh, no! It's gonna... December the 1st, 2018 was when they shut down Guitar Hero Live. So December the 1st, 2022, it's gonna be four years. It's been three years so far. And I miss the game every day. Honestly, Guitar Hero Live was the shit. Somatic Atticusane. Why my game? Inhale. Inhale. You're the victim. My game. Exhale. 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 I think every championship from this video onwards is probably going to be its own video, more than likely. I think this might be the last one where it's combined into one video. And then after this, I think they're all going to be individual videos, because there'll be enough races. <laughs> I don't even understand why VRChat has a trust ranking because in my opinion no one can really be trusted on VRChat there's a lot of questionable people there to the point like trust ranking is kind of pointless 
Because the amount of people that are trusted that you can't trust on there is kind of ironic. <laughs> it really is. Like, I used to love streaming VR chat for, like, the three weeks that I did stream it. And then I had to stop streaming it because it, it got too borderline to the point I was like, Ah, I'm going to join this server. Someone's going to have an avatar with their boobs out. I'm going to get banned. Yay. That's, like, the level that I was at. I was like, what? Yeah, exactly. You've even got pedos that are on the trusted level. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Gang. Exhale, exhale, exhale. <sighs> Don't forget, if we hit all our daily goals today, chat, we're going to uh, eat a spicy bean. I love how Epic's just been flagged as a suspicious user for saying that. <laughs> There we go. We got a very nice uh, result there. I'm going to save that replay for thumbnails. 17 grand. Oh, God. Well, of course, the problem there, sir. Okay. Attempt number two. This is Blue Mountain, so this is utter AIDS, this track. Hate it with a passion. Whoa! Ah, uh, we got some good heavy metal on now. I need to try and not use this car as much because we've been using it a little too much so far in this series. Ah. I think this will definitely, after this championship, we'll retire the NSX. We'll just say, yeah, we're done with it. I'll sell it. Nah, I won't sell it because I want it in my collection, but I will say we won't be using the NSX again. Unless we need it for an event or championship or whatever, then sure. Oh, come on. We're halfway there. Whoa. Donkey in a pair. Take my hand. And shove it up your ass. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, sus. Ah, uh, dodge, get back. This is my territory. <laughs> I don't know. First, first comment that came to my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sus. <laughs> hey, we totally did not cut that corner. I feel once again. The scientific name for a pig. What's that? <laughs> Bacon wagon. Sus Scrofa Domesticus is the scientific name for a pig. Here's the thing, though. Why do they make scientific names for animals when... Let's be honest, pig is a very unique name 
for an animal. I don't know any other animals that are called pigs. Why don't we just say the scientific name is a pig? It doesn't change how we identify the animal. Bananam, bananam. Okay, we're doing okay so far. Maybe not. No, we're fine. The only thing I'm concerned about is the endurance events. Because if I cock up the endurance events, I'm dead. I'm just I'm just gonna die there and then. I may as well just ah fuck it. Oh I like this song. This is the roundabout song. It's kind of a weird. The lyrics are weird. <laughs> Uh, I think the volume for the... I actually know the car audio should be fine. If it's too quiet, I can adjust it in the video editing software anyways. Do you get when you fuck with the classic roundabout, but it just might be me? I love luck. I think it'd be the first one. Yeah, you get your ass back. Don't even think about it. I'll take you to court, mate. You try and overtake me, you're getting your ass sued. Meow. Come on, we got this. Br heavy breaking zone. Roundabout, but it just might be me. Yeah. Of luck. This is what you get when you fuck with the classic roundabout. Nice. Lovely. Seven minutes and five seconds. Woohoo! Seven minutes and five seconds of hell. Time for America. <laughs> After just calling them weird. <laughs> Let's go. See, starting in fifth place is not ideal in this game. Down every single. Oh, a little bit of contact. Keep it moving. These are one of their uh, new songs from uh, 2021. Down, down. I 
I love how there's that staticky fuzzy noise in the emulation of this game. It's just fucking horrendous. Luckily, every other Forza game that we're going to play is going to be native. It's not going to be emulated. I mean, this is technically emulated on the 360, so it's probably the closest ex realistic experience, but... Yeah. Every other game is going to be rendered on native hardware that it was intended to be played on, except for Horizon 3, 4, and 5, and potentially Motorsport 7, but Motorsport 7 might still have to be on console. I think it'd be easier to do Motorsport 7 on console still. <laughs> Oh, no. Ah, oh, your ball bag. Now, nah, mate, what are you doing? Fucking AI card just swerved into me. You prick. Oh, my God. Is that a Supra? I'm being T-packed. Oh, he's fucking ball bag. He's slowing down. He's brake checked me. Has the audio gone for this car? Yeah, the engine noise is bugging out for this car. <laughs> there was another problem with this game. There was just buggy engine noises. At least they fixed it for Motorsport 2. I think. I mean, I've only played the first, like... Four or five events, so it's not like I've done enough to make a dent in the game to know what the game's like. There are more events in it, by the way, so it's going to be a bit longer. The Great Hendowski. Oh, no. Okay, we're still fine. I really don't like this. Some of these events have been uh, quite nasty, in all honesty. <laughs> I'm being bullied. Nice. We've got five people still in chat, which is crazy. Average viewers for this stream has been amazing, so uh, thank you everyone for uh, tuning in. Alright, 538, not bad. Well, I uh, save that replay just in case I forgot to save the other ones. Fuck me, let's go! Final event. This is just literal hell. This is hell on steroids, I guess. 
Do you know, graphics of this game aren't bad for a game from 2005. And for a first attempt from a developer, not bad. Why is Bethesda streaming? Uh, I presume Bethesda streams stuff from their new games. But yeah, um... What is it? Yeah, Bethesda, the uh, game company. But yeah, I'm... I'm actually looking forward to uh, Bethesda actually shutting down their launcher. Because let's be real, the Bethesda launcher was pretty shit. So it's going to be good to have all the games actually move over to Steam. And it's good they picked Steam over Epic. Because then that means that... I'll have, like, Doom Eternal on Steam, which actually is pretty good because then if I get a Steam Deck, I'll be able to play Doom Eternal on the go. If I do get a Steam Deck, which I probably will do because I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. And the Steam Deck looks awesome. So, Pog. I'm probably going to buy the cheaper version, the one with the 64 gigabyte model, and then buy. No, it's not VR compatible. You can't plug a headset in or anything like that. No VR compatible games can run on it unless you convert it into docked mode, run Windows off of it, plug in an external GPU, and figure out a way to connect the headset, then maybe you could do it. But you would still need to buy the graphics card and everything like that. I mean, why would you even want to play VR games on a handheld console anyways? It would look like shit. For VR to actually work well, like, the Oculus Quest works well because it's a, such a closed-off system, nothing runs in the background. They are well-optimized versions of the games to the point that the graphics quality of some of those VR games are shockingly low just so that they run smoothly. Which is good because they're good enough that anyone can play them. But for you to enjoy a good VR experience, you need a gaming PC. Which I'm actually excited because there's a VR game that I really want to try called Wrench. Which is like car mechanic sim. It, it's not a VR game, but it's got a VR mode. Um, and it's like car mechanic, but for race cars. So you like repair cars at the side of the racetrack, and like you hear the car engine noises and everything. It just looks so cool. I really want to try it on stream, but I don't know whether it's just gonna fry my graphics card because how intense it looks. But the VR mode looks a lot more stable. Yeah. See, VR Chat is one of those games that will run either really well or really shit. When it comes to streaming VR Chat, like, you can play VR Chat no problem at those frame rates if you're not streaming it. But if you're streaming off the same system, for some reason, VR Chat fucking hates computers. It wants all of it, and if it doesn't get all of it, it has a hissy fit and drops the frames like a bitch. It, like, cuts the frames in half. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Nearly level 25. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.